Hey, that's JB. Brick Fanatic here. Just a quick thing before we start this video, if you have not checked the video of where I say how you can get your own copy of the instructions to build these LEGO blasters, I highly urge you to check that out. It's going to be up in this corner here, unless you're on mobile, on Safari or something like that, then uh, check it out in the description below. I will leave a link to that video. But this video is going to be about this mock here, which is a custom um, Clone Wars era battle. You see you have Anakin leading his little army of clones there fighting these separatist droids. Now this is not based off of any specific Clone Wars battle. You know, this is just a, a representation of um, what I think that those battles looked like and kind of how they went down. So as you can see here, you have Anakin leading his little squad and they are taking on this army of the separatist droids there in this um, sort of hallway you can see there. Again, it's just a, a bunch of different, you know, designs that I um, came up with to make this and I really like how it turned out. I'll show you up close in, the, in person um, a bunch of the stuff, especially this doorway there. Uh, but this is made on a 32 by 32 tan base plate, so nothing too big there. Uh, but there's just, I, I just like how it how it works, how it um, kind of came together, just how it looked. There's nothing going on on the sides. I literally just have pink over here holding this whole thing up. So we're not really going to look at that. I'll probably just get close into the details, um, just again, so you don't see that. But um, let's start off by taking a look at right here. Taking a look inside the model, you can see Anakin Skywalker there running toward something unknown. And um, something I just want to point out is the just this little doorway here let me get a better angle up and down it's just a doorway that kind of leads somewhere and you don't know if you wanted to look at the detail all the way in the back there those pipes in the back I just love how that kind of comes together I love using the brown and uh, copper piping I guess just uh, I love that look to make the greebles and the piping details and let's take a look at this door from the other side looking at the door from the other side here you can see that I used uh, quite a bit of techniques let me take my phone off the stand here um, so right off the bat you have these little oops, sorry Annie we have these little lights that are there and then just this blue light there and there just to represent you know activation buttons or something like that Inside there you can see I do have a control panel as well as a small little um, button lever there just to open the door and then I did achieve um, this look here using the textured 1x2 bricks to simulate, you know, the doors kind of halfway down. Now there's a really interesting building technique that I used here and let me take it apart just a little bit to show you that. Taking a look at this assembly here, this is just a simple little door and then I have brackets here and that is um, for the, just the spacing needed to connect this to the actual um, frame here. So that will connect just like so and then this will attach to the, if I can get this to fit, this will attach to the brick heads brick there and that was the only way that I could make it able to be um, you know, flush or so it'll actually line up with the rest of the model because it was such an inter interesting um, snot build. Then I have another bracket here, which is a half plate just um, to flush everything out. And then I added this sticker from the Cantina set. That, so that actually says Cantina. And that is how I achieved kind of just to give it more of a Star Wars-y look, I guess. And also you can see more of those details. I just used these arch pieces because I had a poly bag. This is the old, uh, old gray arch. They were brand new. I had a bunch of them, so I used uh, pretty much all of them in this mock just to kind of give it, I evenly spaced it just to kind of give it a, uh, a unique feel, I guess, the feeling of a hallway. Now looking at the other hallway in a little bit of closer detail, you can see these copper pipings running all the way down and then connecting with the perpendicular connections going in there. It's just, I think it looks really, really nice. And something that I mentioned a little while ago in really old videos, um, I use stickers that I get from other sets on models just to make things pop. So that looks like a control panel of some sort or just a little thing. And then in here, it's just kind of a, a random little detail to add some, uh, there's a grate there, you know, just to add some check texture into the wall. Putting that wall back, you can look at this build in all of its detail. Um, something I forgot to mention is these little windows, um, you know, they could be lights, they could be windows, they could just be a different color in the wall, you know, to add some variety. I don't know. Again, this is a completely, um, completely from my imagination. It's not based off of any specific battle. This is just to represent all of the battles that Anakin Skywalker has been in during the Clone Wars TV show, which is why I'm using the Clone Wars Anakin with the uh, bug eyes there. 
Now, something um, else I did want to note are the minifigures. I have some of these battle droids looking like they are, um, they just got shot and they are out of commission, um, and then just have them lined up. I do have more, but I didn't want to overcrowd the hallway space. Something else I'm pretty proud of is the way I was able to get this certain clone that has like a, a minigun there. I used the old Technic bushing there. It's the, it's the one thin um, bushing and it just adds just that little more um, level of detail to kind of get like the, you know, the actual barrels of the different um, uh, guns there. And then I have his arm unattached from his torso to give him that more of an action shot so he can be facing sideways. And I'm just all around really, really happy with this build. I used one of these pieces in that. It's just one, two, three, four, five pieces to make that. And I just think it came together um, really, really nicely. But yeah, guys, that is going to wrap up this mock showcase video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this type of mock, or maybe more of this type of mock, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I, if you do follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I am already in production of the large version. This is the medium, and this is the small. I've already created the large version. I'm just waiting on parts. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.